Kitties! Good morning! How about we eat some nice pasta? No! Unfortunately, it looks like there's only one portion left! Hello! Benedetta, we need your help. We don't know how to prepare Granny Penis pasta. Are you really talking to me? Yeah! Okay, Buffy Cats, I'll handle this. And while you're cooking, I'll have a snack. Meatball, you're just like Marco. Every time I cook, he's always there tasting something. To prepare our pasta, we need four eggs, 400 grams of zero zero flour, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and one pinch of salt. Let's start making our pasta. The first thing we do is put the flour on the worktop like this. Then we make a hole in the center and we can crack the eggs. Now let's add the two spoons of oil, which is good to make the dough a little more workable and softer, easier to roll out. And it's also a pinch of salt. With a fork, we can start to stir slowly and mix the flour. Now we can start kneading with our hands and try to mix all the flour. Keep doing so for four or five minutes until you get a smooth and slightly elastic dough. Then cover with a cloth and let it rest for a few minutes before rolling it out. <laughs> and now, let's roll out the dough with a rolling pin. Okay, Buffy Cats? Yeah! <laughs> hey, you're pretty good with rolling pins. Where did mine go? I have it, Benedetta! <laughs> Lampo. And now we can roll out the dough. To work better, I split it in two parts. First, I roll out one, and then the other. Now spread some flour on the worktop, and spread the dough first with your fingers, and then with a rolling pin. The hardest part when you make homemade pasta is making a nice round dough. It should be as thick as a sheet, so it takes a lot of patience. When the thickness is a few millimeters, we take a flap of pastry, put it on the rolling pin and roll it up, press with both hands, pull the pastry a little bit, roll it up, push with both hands, we pull, roll, and spread it. So we're going to need to do it several times until the sheet becomes very thin. The sheet is ready and it's nice and thin. So now we need to cover it up with a cloth and let it rest about 10 minutes before shaping the pasta. The time has passed. We can remove the cloth and can now start rolling the sheet. Roll it up to halfway and do the same on the other side. We roll until the edges touch, then we cut our pasta with a knife. Remember kids, let adults help you in the kitchen. Now let's cut the dough in strips about half a centimeter thick. Still using the knife, we unroll the pasta and place them on the serving plate. Just put the knife underneath, turn it slightly, then pull up and unroll. <laughs> For the meatball sauce, we'll need 300 grams of minced meat, 50 milliliters of milk, one tablespoon grated cheese, 50 grams of breadcrumbs, 
one small handful of parsley, 500 grams of tomato puree, a little onion, carrot, and celery for the sauteing, extra virgin olive oil, and salt. We put the minced meat in a bowl, and with a fork we crush it to mix it well. We add salt, milk, and parsley. What do you say, Meatball? Want to add some cheese too? Possum! I love cheese! Then I'll add a nice spoonful. <laughs> Let's start mixing the ingredients and add the breadcrumbs a little at a time. And now, let's use our hands to mix it all together. We take some meat in our fingers and make many small meatballs about the size of an olive. <laughs> Let's prepare the sauce. First of all, put some olive oil in a pan, the chopped onion, carrot, and celery, and let it cook. Let it brown and add the meatballs. Cook the meatballs for four to five minutes, then add the tomato puree, some water, salt, and then let the sauce cook for 10 to 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. Hey, Meatball, do you like meatball sauce? <laughs> oh, my meatballs are delicious! <laughs> <laughs> hey, puppy cats, I'm stuck, help me! I'll handle this. Let's cook the pasta in boiling salted water. Ready? We're almost finished. <laughs> Let's add some more meatball ragu sauce. Is everybody ready to taste them? Super ready! <laughs> awesome! awesome. Enjoy, Enjoy your puppy, puppy meal, meal, friends! friends. Mm, they're so good! Homemade pasta for my new friends. Cat friends, 44 cats. <laughs> did you like my recipe, kids? Well, I hope you did, because now it's your turn to prepare your version of Granny Pina's pasta so you can join the competition, and I'll be the one to choose the most cat-tastic recipe. Your recipe doesn't have to be the one we've just shown you. It can be your own favorite pasta recipe. You'll find all the details on the 44 Cats official website. You can enter the competition between September 1st and October 31st to have the chance to win possum prizes and even a trip to Italy with your family.